I was born near Greensboro in what was then Choctaw County. My mama was Millie Drain, and I had an outside pappy. He was Bob Jones. My mama had several children born to her, but me and my brother Anderson Drain is the only ones living now. Anderson? He was just 10 years younger than me. I remember he born the year before the war ceased. I was nursing him when he was free. They tells me I was 10 years old then, and that's all I know about my age. We lived in a little log houses, daubed with mud and didn't have no beds. Slept on the ground, on pallets. We ate out a trough down at the master's back door and ate with mussel shells for spoons. My mama and her sister, Cindy, were sold. Mama used to slip back at night and bring us things, and the white folks never knowed it. It sure would have went hard with her if they'd ever caught her. My job during slavery days was toting water and picking up chips. I wasn't like the other little niggas. My head wasn't flat on top, and old missus saw I couldn't tote nothing on my head. Other niggas could bring a bucket of water on their head and one in each hand. I was always a sickly baby. My guts come down to my navel, and I never was well till I got grown. When I was a little baby, Mama used to leave me in the cabin by myself for hours at a time. Old Miss tell Mama, go down to that house and see if that little nigger ain't dead. They said I was always a good baby. Old Miss sure had a time with me and her little chickens. I just love little chickens to death. I remember she wouldn't let me round them because she's afraid I'd hurt them. And one day I slipped off in the woods where the old hen and her bunch was. I caught every one of them and bit their heads off. That old hen fought me till my face was covered in blood when I got to the house. Mama never allowed us to dance. I never did allow my children to dance either. I remember getting off one time and trying to dance when they wasn't nobody around and stumped my toe. It broke me, though. I never did try it no more. I sure like to broke my toe, though. I remember hearing my nigger women say, so glad I was free, so glad I was free. The war was over and they didn't have no boss. I remember Mama telling about the Yankees cutting the cloth out the loom and getting up on it with their horses. They took the feather beds and fold them away, but after they was gone, we found them. Mama said she had a better time in slavery days than after they was free. She was a house girl. I heard some hollering. Oh, pray, missus. Law me, they would be getting some whipping. These women that didn't work in the field show had their four rolls to spend a day. Mama said she'd always get hers. Sometimes she'd finish at night, but he put the women had to have a whipping for theirs was done, and then they show got busy. I was 18 years old when I married Charlie Holman and he was even 21. My wedding dress was made out of the Swiss cloth and trimmed with blue ribbon. I wore a bow in my head and had a big bow around my waist. My, I thought I was stepping out. We lived in the Tom Holman place in Choctaw County. I don't know exactly how long we lived there, but we stayed in Louisiana eight years. I tells him that was the hottest place I ever seen. The buds start swelling in the spring and the women start swelling too. More babies there than I ever seen. This summer, I'd be sitting in the corner great big and next summer, I'd be sitting in the corner great big again. As the mother 18 and ain't got but three now, the Lord show saw fit to take them. I was just a good breeder. I liked living in Louisiana, except I just didn't like having so many children. We moved out there in an ox wagon 
and it took three weeks to move there. Got a good old dog, stayed with us, and kept the barkers off on the trip. When we moved back, we come on the train. When we got back from Louisiana, we moved over to Webster County near Eupora with Mr. Estelle Bridges, and we's been round here ever since. I belongs to the Baptist Church. Didn't join till I was plum grown. I knowed what I was doing. We's all got to be regenerated and born again before we leave this old world. I tell you, the old-time religion is the best kind of religion. I tell you, there's something about all these geese that's gone over this fall that show sure means bad weather ahead. I can tell the young folks when it's going to rain. My rheumatism start hurting me. Then it showed the rain.